Today we'll make coffee DIYs, three of them. Keep watching. DIY number one. We're going to find some paper that we like, any type of scrapbook or decorative paper that you like, or maybe a solid piece if that's what you prefer. This is the one I've chosen, and a pack of stickers that I got on clearance from Joanne. Pick up any stickers you like. You can get all kinds of themed stickers at Joanne, at Michael's, at Hobby Lobby, and maybe even at the Dollar Spot at Target. This little wall decor came from Dollar Tree. It's a little shadow box. We're gonna start off by dismantling this. We'll take the backing off, take off the hanger, and then after just pulling off the little extra pieces there, I'm gonna use my metal ruler from Dollar Tree to pull up the little holders there, take the backing off, the picture that is in there will easily pop off and then we're going to take all this orange sequins out. I'll save that for my kids. Okay, so this little razor I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this to just remove the decal from the inside of that frame. Comes off very easily. Careful not to cut yourself. When you get that out, take a little alcohol and rub down the front and the back of the glass. Clean that up. Next, we're going to do the background. And I'm just going to use my trusty glue stick. I like that this particular glue stick is purple so I can see that I'm getting good coverage. But you can use any that you like. I'm going to turn it over. Put it on my paper. Smooth it out with my wooden ruler that gets out any wrinkles or potential bubbles, which are rare, by the way, with the glue stick. And then I'm going to take a fresh sanding block and start working on my edges. Pressing downward and away from the edge, you'll get a nice, clean look. This will just easily peel off. You wanna do all the sides this way. Take your little pieces off. I love sanding. Who knew in my 40s I would find such a wonderful hobby? Sanding brings me joy. So now I'm gonna take the little coffee pot sticker and put it down here in the bottom. Of course, before you put your stickers down, you need to kind of eyeball it, see where you wanna put everything. And it looks good there. Does it look like it's gonna be covered up by the edges of the frame? And then I'm going to take my Burbage, this sticker, I like this one, put it on the top. I'm thinking that any of these little DIYs that we're going to be doing will be perfect for a tiered tray or to sit beside your coffee pot, maybe put in your kitchen window, wherever you keep your coffee maker. And if you're a tea drinker, maybe find some, some tea or maybe cocoa stickers if you like hot chocolate. Make a little hot chocolate bar. So I'm liking the look of this. I want to put a couple of other details and there are some arrows on here. So I'm just going to put these arrows on. I'm going to line them up with the lines on this paper. And just point them straight to my coffee pot. And secure the back down and now we're going to make a little hanger just in case you want to hang this up since the original piece was a hanging piece you just put a dot of glue and a little scrap of paper right on top to be sure that that holds in place and doesn't pop off there if you don't put something on there you do run the potential of your of your rope or your hanger popping off of the glue. So trim that up with your done and this is our result. 
Excuse my dog. She's barking probably at the mail lady. Okay, project number two. This little house came from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to show you what happens when you try to take this off. Now, this may not be the experience that everybody has, but um, I can just not get this piece off without shredding it. It's breaking. You could always use the back if you wanted to, but I decided to go ahead and use this piece to my advantage since I want to make the the picture that we put on here um, three-dimensional. So this will help <laughs> this will help hold it up off of the surface and give it that dimension that I want on here. So I'm gonna take this sticker and the border of the sticker even though it's clear I can see it so it's got um, some curves in it and I'm just going around with my scissors to continue that line um, or the border that's on there. I'm just going to go around the original sticker curves and that's what I'm doing here. You don't have to do that part. You could just cut it out as a square or rectangle but I thought it gave a little more interest. So you choose your paper and I'm going to use this one. Now you can hold it or use a little tab of double stick tape like I did on the back just to hold it still while you cut around here. I'm leaving about maybe an eighth of an inch and following that curve all the way around. So now it has almost a little frame. I'm gonna get that as even looking as possible. That gives it a little more rigidity. Then you can take your glue, press it down, Now I have a nice little backing on there. I just use my wooden, wooden ruler to press those together. Now a little hot glue and I have a 3D little house. Now I'm taking a little piece of this clearance ribbon that I got from Big Lots and I'm going to make a little shoelace bow. Simple, simple. Pop that right on the top. Just going to trim the ends of these just at a little slant. There you go. Now we're on to DIY number three. I'm going to use this little block that came from the dollar spot at Target. I got it at Dirt Cheap. I'm going to repurpose the backing from the stickers. How about that? You don't have to use paint and you don't have to have any fancy paper for this. It's really just a cardstock anyway, so we're going to trim it down like we need it. And because it's thicker, I don't want to have to do as much sanding on it. So I'm going to get it fairly close to the same size as the block that we're using. Handy dandy glue stick. Then you're going to put it down on top of that. Try to get the block centered in it as much as possible. Don't worry about that purple, it comes right off. When it dries, you can't see it at all. You can sand down your sides to make it nice and neat. And then choose what sticker that you want in the middle. Copy before talky. Who else? Anyone? All right. So now we're going to put a little bow on the top. And we start off with the band that's going to go around there. You see I added the little coffee cup sticker on the bottom. And this is a really simple bow that goes on the top. This is going to be the little simple one with the loop like this. So you're going to cut your section off when you know what size you want. Add a little bit of hot glue. Put those together. And then we'll do the tails or the bottom section. If 
We're going to put these two together, fold them over, and cut dovetails. There you go, nice and neat. Now I just have a piece of this cotton twine that I'm going to use in the middle because it matches. I'm going to pinch this in the middle and the bottom underneath all together. Flip that over and tighten a double knot. I think it's important right now, since we really are feeling our safest at home, is to be able to do some things that make our home more comfortable and more joyful. So these are some simple DIYs that you can do to make your morning cup of coffee or your evening cup of tea a little more enjoyable. Very simple. All of these are simple and can be done quickly. And you can put your own spin in it to make it your own. So here's one last look. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back soon. Be sure to subscribe and share if you enjoy the video. Bye.